All right, all right, all right. Is audio uh, fucking up once again? Probably. I mean, it's my show, right? How's everybody doing today? I'm in a great mood. I am in a fantastic mood, to be honest. Not really good. How's everybody doing today? I'm in Okay, yeah, it's uh, OBS sucking a huge dick. Solid. We're back. Should be okay now. Who knows? Uh, da, da, da. Wow, that's just so uh, fucking frustrating, huh, isn't it? 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 So uh, fucking frustrating. Huh, so, uh, Infinite echo. There we go. Well. Thanks for uh, letting me sit there and look like a jackass to uh, all my mods in the chat. Really, really glad you guys were on that one. <laughs> uh, you're all fired. Uh, well, welcome to the Interview with the Man, episode 383. Let me just go back and listen to this real quick. Solid. Once again, the production value of this show is in the fucking trash. Fucking great. Anyways, well, hey, I tried, right? That's all that matters. We just got to keep on keeping on. Welcome to Interview with a Man, episode number 383. How a Winner Lives His Life, part three. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, div I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire some of these mods for sure. You're all fired. Uh, get ready. Let's see. Rick Johnson says MLD got one plus BTC donate to his wallet. Wow. Really? When is that? Did somebody just donate it right now? Or is that just over the, uh, over the course of time? More likely over the course of time. Yep. Well, <clears throat> yeah, over time. Good stuff. So we're going to talk today about uh, how a winner lives his life. Um, things are looking good over here. Welcome. It's Money Monday. All right. Let's see what everybody's talking about here. We are looking to, let's just take a quick look at the chart, shall we? We had quite the uh, massive jump there. Yeah. Oof. Bitcoin is taking a hit right now. 49,000. And it's dumping, it's dumping, it's dumping. 13%. We might see a 30% retracement looking at that. But... My my spirits are in good, good endings. Uh, again, like I said, this is normal. You're going to see who is who in crypto right now. People will get shaken out by this. People who don't have diamond hands. All I got to say is may the force be with you. Um, yeah, so let's see. Um... Yeah, welcome back, guys. What a what a wild ass uh, day. Um, looking at what's happening with the markets is just insane. Um, looks like the Americans woke up, and everybody in America, being emotional, fat, stupid, crybabies, they don't have diamond hands like me. They are not forged in steel, and uh, they're they're panic selling. And you know what that means? You're just letting the banksters win. Every time you sell. But hey, Normie's going to norm. And uh, Normie's out there staying poor. Not over here. Not in the hot dude army. Um, all I see is opportunities to buy. Says, yeah. I, I um can't, can't go into too much detail. But I may or... May have not 
bought the all-time high for a certain cryptocurrency out there that I've been talking about all year. And uh, I'm not panicking at all. There's really no need to, quite frankly. I mean, look. Yeah, it looks like Ethereum's down 17%. Bitcoin's down 10% on 24 hours. Uh, Polkadot's down 18%. Cardano's down 22%. Uh, Litecoin's down 19%. Chainlink down 24.75. Uh, Bitcoin Cash down 18. Stellar down 18, 16. Uniswap down 25%. So, yeah, but like I said, um, this is not anything to worry about. Ooh, Abe is taking a real hit. Abe is down. Um, looks like seventeen percent, and then on the seven day, twenty one percent. So we uh we're having a little bit of a dip here. Uh, for all you guys who have been telling me, I'm gonna buy the dip. I'm gonna buy the dip. I'm gonna buy the dip. Now's the time. Now's the time to put your money where your big mouth is. Um, Rick Johnson says I'm in ETH. I'm buying ETH like my life depends on it. I am pretty much. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty much out of dry powder. I am out of dry powder. So you're going to see a really interesting, uh, what is this guy? It's Nero Machiavelli. He said, will you so personal consultation one-on-one if I sign up hot dude army Patreon? What are you even saying? Did you even read what you wrote? Will you so personal consultation one-on-one -on -one if I sign up Hot Dude Army on Patreon? Bro. I'm just going to put the Patreon link in there for you to sign up. There's 91 people on the Patreon. Uh, remember, we're capping it. I I'm honestly going to pull the, uh, the, the other one soon. I'm just going to cap it at 100. I really don't feel like putting 150 on there. I'm going to pull it really soon, probably like this week. Um, so we're going to talk today. Uh, we're back to normal shows. All my coaching is done. Uh, body language mastery webinars are over. The masculine empowerment webinars are over and I got a pet cat. You can see, let's put the cat over here. Let's cover up the hot dude life logo. He's going to be up there. Oh, is he, is that, edit? can you even see that on the stream? Let's see what we're looking at. We're going to, we're just getting back into the, uh, swing of things. It's going to be a little bit of a casual stream today. But like kind of casual, casual hey. in the sense. But like, ca yeah, casual in the sense that um, I'm really not going to like push, push too hard to like fight to keep viewers or whatever that like, you know, if you want to stay here and learn, you're going to learn. Um, but I have no, I have no time limit. And quite frankly, I have a long stream in me. I've been wanting to do a long stream. Okay. Uh, what's the best website available for a beginner to invest in crypto? Uh, CryptoMindsetCourse.com. Uh, go there, get on the waiting list, and get educated because you're not. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to my guys in the Hot Dude Army, the guys with the green uh, text on their name. If you want to sign up for the Hot Dude Army, get all the benefits of the Hot Dude Army, the, um, the custom emojis, all that stuff. Go ahead, click on that link. And, uh, yeah, it's looking good. It's looking real good. Um, R.I.P. Nero Machiavelli and his ability to read, write, and or uh, great, uh, create a, a sentence. So we've come, right, we, so we've talked like the early stages of, of how winter lives his life, right? Let's go over here. So we've covered, now you guys have to help me out here. Why is Steam open? Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. Well, power level is MLD easily over 8,000 because that's the original translation from the Dragon Ball Z. Not over 9,000. Sorry to ruin your childhoods. All right. So let's see. We've covered so far. Um, we've covered uh, Fort... <sighs> Pad sucks dick. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, 
this pad sucks. All right, so we've covered ages. Uh, ages uh, 14 to 18, right? And so uh, we talked about uh, muscles, right? We talked about diet. We talked about arms training. Talked about gym. And we talked about combat. Okay. <clears throat> right. So now we're going to talk about um, the the elementary aspects of money. Okay. So from age 14 to 18, uh, we're going to, again, remember this is laying the foundations and quite frankly, some of you guys don't have these foundations laid, but we're all here to learn. So now we're going to talk about money. Okay. Now for all you men out there with sons. Okay. Um, we guys have sons. Quite frankly, I believe that your son needs to be able to work as soon as legally possible, okay? And even self, he's earlier than this, 10, 11. Like, you got you to gotta get the concept into his mind early that value given equals money. When you guys sign up for my coaching, the value given is red pill info. And what do I get? Okay. I get money, right? And that's how the business works, all right? Money is given, red pill info is given, okay? That's how my business model works here. Uh, you have to teach a kid from a young age, all right? So quite frankly, when I was young, uh, I started making money um, when I was 13. It was when I really first started. Uh, well, I, I did work at like a little gas station, being a gas station assistant, uh, helping like, uh, you know, um, change oil on cars and uh, throw, throwing out oil into the oil pans and properly disposing of oil. I did that when I was little, okay? And then my first job was uh, at a pizza joint in Orlando, Florida, and it was named Toppings Pizza. Right across the street from the Sam's Club, for all you guys in Orlando, off of Goldenrod, right? <clears throat> Toppings Pizza, where I got paid $5 an hour cash, okay? So... When we have, um, when we have, when we have this situation here, a young young kid, I, I at this age at toppings, I was uh, fourteen years old, okay. And you got to start teaching the way of money to your children, or to the to the you know if you want to raise like the optimal man, because if you're gonna create a uh, child. A competent child, a competent man in this planet, you have to teach them the realities of getting things off the ground. Unless you come from like an ultra rich family, which most people don't. And quite frankly, rich kids are the most fucked up kids in the world, right? Um, you know, <sighs> Christian Martin says, I just lost a shit ton of money. Do not leverage trading. Good. I'm glad you did. I hope you got wiped out. And I hope you learned your lesson because we told you don't fucking leverage trade. That was a stupid decision, Christian. You're a smart guy. We've done our consultations. I've talked to you time and time again. That was a dumb move, okay? Say that with love, but that was fucking stupid. Don't trade leverage trading unless you're a professional trader, period. Okay? So, uh, yeah, but people who come from rich families, rich kids, they're typically fucked up, okay? Um... It's uh, it doesn't work out well at all. You got to teach people the value of money, and you got to teach kids the value of money. You got to prepare them for the real world. Okay, 
no value equals no money. Okay? No value equals no money. All right? Crap value equals crap money. Okay? What's an example of crap value? Let's see. Uh, if you get a degree in something trash like this, then you are going to have to learn how to say, would you like a tall, a grande, or a venti? Right? You're going to have to learn to say that. If you, ma if you major in this, okay, this is actually real science here, okay? If you major in this, you're going to have to learn how to ask for a tall, a grande, or a venti. You have to ask the customer these things, all right? Really, really important uh, scientific fact there. At the same time, okay, if you learn that uh, what's really important, right, STEM, okay, which is Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. All right. Also, the th the the M the uh, the other M that is really valuable is, and I guess it kind of follows under science, but it also is medicine okay uh one of the most valuable degrees you can get is a four-year nursing degree to be honest with you because death is a steady business okay nursing okay to become uh an rn okay bsn um if you play your cards right you could become a, a a practitioner nurse which is basically your doctor but you just don't have like the medical license to be called doctor or whatever but who cares right um so ask yourself do i know any people involved in the science field that are suffering right now right do i know any people in the tech field look how many of you guys are i have a lot of programmers in the audience like computer programmers and um you know so many of these guys are doing great they're involved in tech uh, engineers again software engineers civil engineers electric engineers mechanical engineers right Mathematics is kind of ties in with physics, um, the sciences, and, um, you know, just stuff that's really like the deep math involved with like, you know, uh, NASA and whatnot. Very, very useful skills. Uh, I'll go and let's let's see uh, which what do you think? What 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 global superpower has the majority of their people focusing on STEM? 30 seconds on the clock. Go type the, the uh, type the country in the chat right there. You let me know. Is it America? Is it Mexico? Is it Vietnam? Is Vietnam a global superpower? It's not. I'm sorry. There it is. We're starting to pick up a pattern here. It is... China. Remember, the next war is not going to be a physical war. It is going to be a cyber war. You know, I watched a uh, a really crazy video game simulation the other day. And on November 4th, 2020, in this video game simulation, uh, the election was stolen in the United States of America. And all of the evidence points to China in a video game, not in real life. Our American elections, 100% legitimate. Joe Biden got more votes than uh, Barack Obama. And um, he was more charismatic than Obama. And he was just so much better. You know, people went to all his rallies. His rallies were jam-packed. Uh, he has more charisma. Uh, he had every, you know, had more uh, presence, he had deep, you know, war, more diehard followers. So, um, yeah, that's an example right there. 
in China, just so you guys know, let me just tell you something, okay? The whole uh, wham, 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 feminism, racism, like the whatever ism they want to come up and na la label uh, with next, all of that stuff is planted in our education system in America by China, okay? In addition to that, in China, guess what? They have computer programmers working around the clock, and in their offices in China, they have girls that sit there and massage the shoulders of the programmers, bring them tea, bring them whatever, to maximize the relaxation of the men as they do work so they produce good work. Could that ever happen in America? No, because you're going to have some ham beast with her own gravitational pull sitting there saying like, well, uh, why do I need to do this? A man should be massaging me. Rah, 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 rah. Like, good. You know what? Complain, complain, complain. And most American dudes are complete pussies, so they bow down to the complaining. And then guess what happens? The quality of everything goes to the trash. And China, they don't care. They're doing what gets results. Okay, that's all that fucking matters right now. You want results? You got to do what it takes to get the results. That's it. No bullshit. None of your feelings. No wah, wah, wah. My 77 genders and 900 different vaginas and wah, wah, wah. Whatever the fucking crap you want to cry about. All right? Doesn't work. That, that, that doesn't matter. All that matters now more than ever is are you fucking getting results? Yes or no? You getting results? Good. We keep doing it. You're not getting results? You're going to get fucking left behind. And America is getting left behind. Because we're not teaching our children this stuff. We're not raising men like this, okay? At all. And in the meantime, China is getting ready to promote masculinity. America is shitting on masculinity. And guess what? You're shitting the fucking bed. Because when a nation turns on its men, you open the borders to enemies, okay? Period. Men make everything in this planet fucking awesome. Do you like internet? Men. Do you like flying around on a goddamn airplane? Men. Do you like taking selfie photos of your asshole and selling it on OnlyFans? Men made fucking your cell phone. Men made OnlyFans. Men made the internet. And men are the one paying you. So you're welcome across the fucking board. But I digress. Let's go back to the chart. Okay. The man has to start working at, at the earliest legal age. All right. You start setting good behaviors into the kid then. Right. Now, going back to 14 to 18, right? Okay. You got to teach him the value of hard work, okay? Because if you're not working hard, you're not working, period. Okay? You got to teach the value of hard work, okay? The kid has to see how... Taxes. Fuck you. Anybody tells you paying taxes is a good thing in today's economy, economy is a moron. Okay. If you meet anybody, it's like, yes, I believe taxes are a good thing in our society. Okay. When our government can literally flip their fingers and print trillions of dollars, yet I have to pay taxes. Okay. Just know if anybody agrees with taxes, you have to know in your heart that that person is an absolute fucking moron. Period. How are they going to teach taxes are fucking them? Because they're going to think, this is what I thought when I was a kid. Okay, hey, I'm going to work 20 hours a week, right? And I'm going to get Five for simplicity's sake, it, minimum wage was five fifteen, but I'm just gonna put five dollars an hour. Is 
That means at the end of the week, let me use my STEM skills. 20 times 5 is, oh my God, what am I, what, uh, no, $100. Okay. So I was Johnny naive and I thought, okay, I'm going to get $100 at the end of the paycheck cycle. But no, I had to pay social security tax. I had to pay all this other tax shit, right? And, um, you know, this thing is annoying as fuck. You ended up getting like, you know, taxes weren't as bad back then. So I would get like 85 bucks. Now it's even worse. But you have to teach the kid that this is part of life. Okay, the government, you don't pay taxes to the government. The government you guys don't taxes. donate $100 right now. You're a beta male. You're a cuck. You're a blue pill for life. Yeah. You better yeah, send me $1,000 a donation right now. A non and that's $4.99 Great British Pound with a, a fantastic quote. He says, you can't throw money at kids as well. Whether you make 10 k a year or $1 million, they should get basically nothing or they won't be ready for life. Yeah, I see a lot of people saying my crypto portfolio is for my kids and I'm setting up money for my kids and shit. You shouldn't give your kids goddamn anything, right? You shouldn't plan to give your kids anything because all that's going to do is make them spoiled, lazy, entitled little shits, okay? Making money like that is just, I mean, get just giving money away to the kids, it's not good at all, okay? And here, capital gains tax is not, Mike, are you, are you full blown? Are you missing a chromosome? Mike in the chat saying, don't forget capital gains tax. I'm talking about a 14 to 18 year old working at like a fast food joint. Okay. He's not trading tax. He's not trading stocks and getting capital gains taxes. I feel like some of you guys just tune in here just to, to just to say your opinion in the chat and you don't even pay attention. Okay. All right. So another thing is um you must teach them Mandatory savings. Okay. Mandatory savings. Look, guys, let, let me just talk about something. All right. I mean, I recently met somebody in my life. Right, a man in his in his fifties, and um, you know, he's a good guy. He's got a good heart. He's a really good person, uh, but life doesn't care if you're a good person. Life only cares if you're doing what it takes to get ahead and or to protect yourself. Right, and um, you know, I was talking to this guy. And he's telling me he's making X amount of money per week, right? About $2,000 a week before the beer bug struck, okay? And he's making all this money, and he was talking to me. He's, well, you know, before I was making all this money, and then things were going good. And then he says, now that the beer bug is here, I have no money. It's so hard for me to make money, and... um you know, it's just real tough. And I said, well, did you save money when you had it before? He's like, no. He's like, why would I save money? All the money was just going out the door. It was just in one hand and out the other. And he's like, and then he was telling me that all I need to do is make more money. And therefore, by making more money, I can alleviate myself of my money problems. And I said, no, your money problem is the man that stands in the mirror every single day. That is your money problem. More money is not going to fix it, right? It's not. Money management skills are going to fix it. 
All right. Look, all you guys out there that are not saving money, or if you're not converting your money into gold or crypto, an valuable crypto like Bitcoin and or Ethereum, okay? You're fucked. This guy now is in his 50s, and he's telling me this shit, and it's breaking my heart because he's too stubborn to listen to anything. And um, I just, I just, you know, I got, and, you know, in the, my heart, I could coach the guy and get him on the righteous path, but, you know, he's just, he's so set in his ways. He doesn't want to be coached. I'm like, ah, you know what? You got to burn. You got to burn. Like, that's it. You're, you're fucked. Guys, mandatory savings, all right? Mandatory savings. You absolutely have to focus on saving money. Mandatory savings, all right? Let me, let, let me give you a savings tip right now. Everybody stand up with me. Stand up and just reach down to your midsection right here. And if you could, if you could pinch and feel a little bit of fat, guess what? You have room to save, motherfucker. You have room to save. Pinch, pinch with me. For all you guys that have no money in your bank, but you got a little bit of, got a little bit of extra uh, cushion for the pushing down there. There's your savings account. Stop eating up all your money. You know, Americans eat up their monies quickly, man. American people eat their money up, literally converting your money into shit and fat. Okay. A father needs to teach his son these things. Mark R says fat is a poor store of value. Mark R is a thousand percent correct. Mandatory savings, period. Okay? And here's why. Right? You save money not for the sake of saving money because cash is trash. At the rate they are printing money, your cash is losing value literally by the second. However, you save money for money-making opportunities, right? A lot of you guys, a lot of people in this community don't have a lot of money saved up. And we, what are they doing? You know, this is what happens. They look at everybody. God damn, that was a, a one hell of a bounce back. This is what they do. They see all of us making money and they look at the charts and this just happens. No money. No money for you. Why are we here just to suffer these people who have no money? Let, let's be honest. Put a one in the chat if you regret not saving money for the opportunities right now in this current Bitcoin bull market. Put a one in the chat if you regret not saving as much as you should. Because I tell you what, 
I'm along there with you. I have plenty of money invested. However, I do wish I had more. Um, and a lot of you guys are like, you know, no, uh, uh, Americans are very bad with their money. Amer like they, it's, it's intentional. They don't train us in proper personal finance in America. You know, they teach you 70,000 different genders, right? But they don't teach you how to balance a checkbook. They don't teach you uh, entrepreneurism. They don't teach you how to start a business. None of this is standard education. Okay. Mandatory savings, all right? Guiding Light says, should I put my 50K savings into crypto? Not financial advice, but yes. Go all in on Dogecoin and make sure to ruin yourself financially by asking a random stranger on the internet for a hot tip to make you money. Go all in on Dogecoin, trade on 100x leverage, lose all your money. God bless you. Tired of these stupid questions. Okay. CryptomindsetCourse.com for the love of God. Get educated. Mandatory savings. No savings. Let's write it out, shall we? Americans are awful at saving money. Americans are awful. It is atrocious. Atrocious, atrocious, atrocious. It's quite frankly, it's disgusting. The, mit the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, but what does balancing a checkbook mean? Exactly. Parasite Eve. Mitochondria overheating, causing spontaneous combustion. No savings is also a precursor to no discipline, which then leads to no financial gain opportunities. And that means that leads to eternal poverty. $2,000 a week this guy's making tells me I don't have any money I can save. $2,000 a week. Can't save any money. Okay. Do you guys know who public enemy number one to your money is? Who is, who is the largest threat to your money? Who is the number one person you have to protect your money from? You have to protect your money from you. Stop giving yourself easy on-ramps to spend your money. Keep your money far away from you. As smart as you are, you're actually pretty dumb. Keep your fucking money away from yourself, right? Protect your money from yourself. You're human. You're emotional. You're going to make mistakes. Lady Green is in the house. She says women and, and government, close second, but protect your money from you, all right? And you want to establish these habits at a young age. I'll be honest with you. I didn't save money when I was uh, when I was young and even in my 20s. And here's why. My mom always told me just to save money, save money, save money. And I was like, why the fuck do I need to save money? Making no sense to me, right? Uh, but later in life, I realized during my first Bitcoin bull run at uh, 2017 that you save money for financial... Gains, opportunities. And shout out to all the ladies who watch me and stalk me. Hello, girls. Please click the like if you're stalking me with your YouTube account. If you have a YouTube account and you're going to stalk me, please click like. It's only fair. 
It's only fair because you're going to come and ruin my life one way or another. Complain about some shit I said on the show. At least click the fucking like button. All of you. Thanks for watching today's episode of Interview with a Man. We're going to get right back to the show, but real quick, I wanted to take a second to remind you to please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. Here's why. YouTube, this is how their algorithm works. If you don't like, if you don't comment, you don't subscribe, and you don't turn on notifications, what this tells YouTube is that this video right here is completely worthless. And we know that my content saves men's lives. So please don't forget, take a moment right now, hit the like, leave a comment, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. It's very simple to do. It's 100% for free. One more thing, watch time is going to be extremely important in the year 2021. So if you're watching this video, please be sure to watch it from the beginning all the way to the end. That is how YouTube knows that this video is valuable. In addition to that, you could do this in the gym, leave it playing on in the background while you work out, while you're cleaning your house, whatever you do, just please make sure to watch the video from the beginning all the way to the end, okay? In addition to that, don't forget, please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. Thanks so much, and let's get back to the show. Help me get out of YouTube prison, or I'm gonna kill this cat, all right? If you don't click that like button, I'm gonna fucking blow this cat's brains out. Smash the like button or the cat dies. You've been warned. <clears throat> Mark R says, why can't I like it more than once? Uh, you can make 17,000 different YouTube accounts. It's free. You just smash like. Let's game the system. Fuck it, boys. We're going to the top. Saving money equals financial gain opportunities, okay? Now, why do I need financial gain opportunities? Okay. So, let's talk about that. Now, as you progress in age, we're going to talk about this. All right. Now, as you know, MLD, supreme leader of the Hot Dude Army, your benevolent leader, and god of all the women that I'm dating, they worship me, rightfully so, as they should. At my feet. Thank you all for your service. Um, <clears throat> as you get older, okay, older, okay, I'm just going to have to keep that awkward looking D there. Older, okay, this is what happens. Energy levels. Down. Healing speed. Down. Okay. Brain speed. Down. Unless you mitigate it through heavy, heavy, heavy training. Okay. Which, it, these are all bad. Okay. 25U is better physically, organically speaking, than 35U. It's period. All right? <clears throat> Alpha Brick says, as you get older, does your testosterone decrease? Yes, it does. Great answer. Great questions. David T says, less hair, more hangovers? Don't remind me. Don't remind me. Going bald and it sucks. I want to kill myself. <clears throat> Fighting to the end, boys. I'm going to Turkey and getting hair Terrence plant. We're going to fucking YouTube it all, boys. Vanity or death? Vanity, what is thy name? It is Jonathan from ModernLifeDating.com. So when you're 25, you're just better at 35, right? Now, the thing is this. Tom, settle down. You're, I'm, 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 we have to have a chit-chat, Tom. You are really going fucking nuts, and you got to stop. Seriously. You People are... You're... you're you're, like, making me look awful, bro. 
you're causing serious brand damage. You really need to chill. Seriously, God, chill out. It's bothering me. I have to fix this. Okay. And again, this is a casual stream, so um, feel free to fuck off if you don't like the professionalism. I'm dropping gems here. Okay. Gems that are placeable in your diamond hands. Okay. Now, um, thank you so much, Lou. You're an awesome guy. When you get older, you just can't keep up. It's harder to work. It's harder to do the daily grind. Your back hurts from sitting down. You got to like, you have to warm up your muscles before you do anything. You know, it just sucks. Getting older sucks dick. Okay. Sucks dick in the sense of like a heterosexual man having to suck dick. As in, it's not fucking enjoyable. If you're gay, like MGTOW Dictionary, and you like to suck dick, that's okay. I can't use that analogy. Maybe it's like having a successful life, something that he's very repulsed by, okay? But um, as you get older, it's just hard to keep up. It's hard to grind. It's hard to do the same thing over and over again, right? Here is how you mitigate it. Okay. Take your money that you saved, okay, and you buy assets, okay? What is an asset? An asset is something that makes you money, okay? Something that something that makes you money, all right? Who knows what is the most traditional way that people have been you know, thrusted up into in the upper riches. 30 seconds on the clock. What is the what is the way pe the most traditional way people get rich? Let's see what you guys got to say here in the chat right now. If you're watching on mobile, it's on this side, but fuck that. Let's talk here. Or maybe it's down here for you guys on mobile, right? Should I start pointing down here because more mobile watchers? Let's see. We got here. A couple things there. Harry Zico says real estate. Joel's also says real estate. Richie Fuel says real estate. David T says golden eggplant emojis. Real estate, real estate, real estate, real estate, real estate. Greg B is in the house. Greg B, can I trust you to be a competent mod? Show up on time and uh, tell me if I'm having audio issues quickly. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Properties, golden eggplant. Getting married to older men, says James Arthur. No. You're actually going to get a timeout for such a stupid answer. Go go have fun elsewhere with your stupidity. Uh, gender studies, no. Stonks, no. Deal drugs, says uh, Saber. Uh, well, drugs are an asset if you sell them and don't use them, to be quite honest. Okay? Uh, let's see. All right, Greg, we're going to make you a mod. I trust you. Good work, 007. Don't cock it up. So, you save your money to buy assets. Home. Well, I should. Okay. I'm, I'm home. I'm just going to write. Racing is annoying. Home that is multi family unit. Okay. So, what does that mean? So, let's, let's say you buy a house like this, right? Okay. 
And let's say your mortgage is, let's say you get a good mortgage and it's $1,000 a month. And you have two units and you can have three people that can live on this side and then you can live on this side or you can split it with a roommate if you want to be real money hungry, okay? So then what you do is you charge these people on this side. Let's say you just charge them $750 a month and then you charge this guy uh, $500 a month, right? Kill for those rent prices. And now uh, you're at a plus $250 surplus per month. Assuming you live here, okay? But then you take that, that you know that 250 is coming in every month. And then let's just say you, you slowly stack it up, right? And then after like five years, uh, let's see, 250 a month is like every four months is a thousand. So you're making like three thousand dollars a year savings, right? And so let's say you do that for three years, and then now you have uh, you know, just from this property, now you have nine thousand dollars save. And then you can, uh, assuming you keep your credit correct, you get another unit here, right? And then you put family in here. So let's just put another three people here. Put another three people here. Let's say your uh, mortgage on this one is also 1000 a month, right? So then you charge each of these people 750 times two. Now you're paying this off. The value of the house is going up. And guess what? In addition to that, you have a $500 surplus. And so this one, after three years, now you have 750 a month coming in. While the value of these houses are going up because of the endless money printing, inflation, all that stuff, but you're building up two assets, okay? Eventually, this can go up to 10 units, and as you get older, you're no longer having to trade time for money. You become an investor and a business owner in the sense of real estate. Little, as simple as that, okay? It's that simple, right? But that's it right there. Okay? That's just one example. There are so many different ways you could do this, okay? Uh, that's just well, home is one, right? What is another way to build up yourself by buying assets? Okay? You could be kind of just simple, right? And let's just say you're buying assets. Legitimacy is now there, but let's just say every month you put 1K into BTC. Okay? Bitcoin is mathematically designed to have a deflationary aspect to it. As in, you will continue to get richer as time progresses because Bitcoin is programmed to be deflationary as it gains more value. Fiat, if you guys don't donate $100 right now, you're a you? beta male, oh, yeah, don't you're a cuck, you're a blue pill for life, you better send me $1,000 in donation right now. <laughs> and, and Big V's 497 with the $5 super chat says, MLD, just want to say your videos helped me kick ass in 2020. May never have to work again after this year. Thanks, bro, and keep up the good work. If you make a million dollars this year, it is mandatory that you send me a thousand dollar donation right now. Okay, period. Because I need a thousand dollars. I don't need a thousand dollars, but it's the principle. Okay, <laughs> it's principle. Trogdalene says number go up, technology absolutely. BTC equals. We talked about this on Tokyo Crypto Show. Number go up, okay? You can also buy gold, okay? Gold is a very safe investment. Yeah, I know it's kind of boomer and archaic, whatever, but it's nice to have some gold laying around. It is, right? 
So um, that's another way you could do it, all right? If you think big like me, I'm not joking, guys. Harry Zico's in the chat. He's the number one real estate agent in the Hot Dude Army. I want to buy for $1 million cash. We have looked at some apartment buildings. Okay. Now, let's talk about that. When you become a homeowner, right? And an, a, a, a rental property owner, owner, most of you guys out there dread the first. But when the first comes around as a owner, you're going to be very happy. So you take that three, you take that $1 million if you want to buy $1 million cash or if you want to finance it. You put like, you know, I think you have to put $1 million. We got to put down, Harry, uh, 20%, 200K. Can you get the, so you could get a loan for the 200K then put the 200K down and then get a loan on the building, right? And then for a million dollars, you have the uh, a 30 unit building. You have 30 units, and let's just say for simplicity, giving you a thousand dollars a month in rent, right? And let's be honest, thousand dollar a month rent in Japan, in America, yikes, good luck. Equals 30k per month and all you need to do is upkeep the building stay healthy don't die and make sure you have insurance on the property that's it now you're getting 30k per month right but it, even if you get something smaller okay is this is this is this not is this is this information beneficial to you guys Put a five in the chat if this is beneficial to you. Uh, put a one if you want me to go fuck myself and move on to something else. But let me know, all right? So 30 units is there, but even if you, like, chop it back. Wild Bill's in the house. Wild Bill says five. Thank you, Wild Bill. Nice to see you. Miss you on Dude Party. Why don't you come back? Okay. Let's just say you buy a simple. Let's just say you buy like a a four. Oh God, that one's fucking. That line is on steroids. That line is on a cycle of fucking trend. Peter Costas is five, and then after the show, one. Well, Peter, you've never signed up for any of my courses, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> Uh, even if you buy like a, a four unit place, right? And let's just say the four unit place cost you a $2,000 a month mortgage. And each unit is 1500. Let's let's be, let's be really cheap. Let's, let's run some worst case scenario numbers. Each unit gives you a thousand dollars in rent per month. And guess what? You're at a $2,000 surplus per month. Okay. $2,000 a month, not a lot of money. However, $2,000 a month on a passive income that you can use just, you know, for speculative investments. If you want to call Bitcoin speculative investment, if you do, you're an idiot, but whatever. Bitcoin, gold, expanding yourself to buy more properties. Okay. This is how the traditionally uh, rich get rich, right? Real estate in Japan, huge. Real estate in China, huge. Real estate in America, huge. I mean, it goes on and on and on, all right? All right, Artemis, give uh, Tom a timeout. He's spazzing out a little too much for my type, for my likings. Just give him a 300-second give him timeout. You got to calm down, Tom. You really just got to calm down, buddy. We need to get on the phone and talk. <sighs> Stressing me out in the middle of my show, Tom. Killing me. Making me look like a jackass. The one guy from Rule Zero to give you a chance, and what do you do? Spit in my face. Okay. Now, all you guys put fives in the chat and you said that this was awesome, which it is, right? However, this all goes back to one 
thing that is instilled in a young man at a young age. Okay? Mandatory savings. Mandatory savings, okay? Keyword, man, okay? You put the man in mandatory. And how do you develop mandatory skills? Through discipline. You've got to save. Now we're going to talk about how to calculate your savings plan, All right? But real quick, I got to take a bathroom break. For watching today's episode of Interview with the Man, we're going to get right back to the show. But I wanted to take a moment to remind you that if you need personal help with dating and getting your money right specifically, we offer that services over on my Patreon. All you need to do is go to patreon.com forward slash modern life dating. What we do is on the second and fourth Sunday of every month at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have a group coaching call where men from all over the world come in with their questions on how to get their dating and their money right. If you're having trouble with your dating life, if you're having trouble with your finances, let me help you. I have turned my life around and I can help turn your life around. All you need to do is go to patreon.com forward slash modern life dating. There is limited enrollment. It is only limited to 150 members and already more than half of that has been filled up. This will be filled up. So don't forget, take action now lock in your space. Go to patreon.com forward slash modern life dating and let's get some coaching for you today. All right, we're back. Let's get at the back. Okay. So, Here's another thing, all right? I'm done. Just permaban them. Permaban them. All mods permaban. I'm done. I'm over it. I'm 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 done. I'm out of I'm out of mercy. I'm out of mercy. I just get, you know, you want to sit across from me and have dinner with me in Orlando, pretend to be my friend, look me in the eye, tell me I'm a hero, blah blah blah, and then do this stuff. No. I'm done. Absolutely done. Disgusted. Quite frankly, I'm disgusted. Um, okay. Here's another thing. You guys, all you men out there, you need to calculate your overhead. Okay? And your overhead equals how much money You, I'm buying an iPad and Apple Pen tomorrow. <clears throat> Need to survive. Okay? How much money you need to survive? Okay? Per... All right. So I'll give you an example of myself when I quit my corporate job and I had to go back to teaching English and eating a nice big old fat slice of humble pie. So you know what's funny is like, you know, a lot of you guys started watching me in 2020. You guys, uh, some of you people think like I had like a, I was born like into riches or I was like I was just born into uh, like some kind of rich family or, or something along those lines. 
No, man, I ate crow to get where I am. All right. And I ate crow for a very, very long time. Very, very long time. And I, everything that I'm teaching you right here, the next series we're going to do is how MLD lived his life. And I'm going to map out my entire life, all the things I did right, all the things I did wrong, how I would optimize and how right now at 35, I would be an, uh, you know, uh, a, a fucking, um, sorry, I just got through Craig. I, the old school MLDs days, you busted your ass. I still bust my ass. What are you trying to say? I don't work hard right now. Um, you know, I worked my ass off to get here, and I'm going to show you the plan that I abided by. So, uh, the next series after this is going to be how MLD lived his life, and which is me, and I'm going to show you all the mistakes I made, all the good things I made, all the way up to my current age, which is 35, basically. You know, 35% done with my life, assuming life expectancy goes up to 100, give or take with medicine and everything, probably make it to 100. Um, so my life is 35% over, and uh, we're going to talk about everything I've done up to this point to get where... Um, you could ban that sad sandwich account too, perma, perma ban. Um, you know... <laughs> Greg B says, no, I'm saying you got that off the ground with hard work, determination, fall through discipline. Thank you so much. Thank you. As impervious as I am, I still am vulnerable to the chat section. <laughs> uh, tomato farming idiots who make videos about me and technological difficulties. But nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Um, thanks, Josh. Love you. Love you so much. So let's go back to the board, yeah? All right. So I'll give you my 2018, uh, 2019 overhead. My overhead now is way more expensive, and I really, I'm still easing into accepting it. Uh, really not that happy about it, but it is part of the growing curve. See me trying, see my OCD? You're watching me live with my OCD now, trying to get this one little spot that's hidden. Okay. Peter DaCosta, I know I've already done my intro. I know that. I'm talking about how I lived my life in accordance to this. Please pay attention before you give information that's or commentary that's not very well thought through. Okay? I'm going to give my life breakdown and everything that I did right and did not do right in regards to living like a winner versus winning, winning, uh, living like a loser. Okay? That's the difference there. We're getting some like solid spam here. Like people are, are commercial spam now. We're coming up in this world. Okay. So your overhead is typically your most expensive overhead is your rent. Okay. Recently had a yelling episode between me and Josh from Eat Lift Program because he wanted to get rent at a place that was ridiculously expensive. And I said, Josh, are you fucking stupid? Are you a dumb person? Why are you even bringing up such stupidity to me? Okay, guys, when you're on the up and up, you want to keep your overhead as low as possible, okay? As low as possible. Why? To maximize... Cash saved for assets to become financially free. Got it? low as possible 
So I'll give you my breakdown when I was living in my older apartment. My older apartment was about $825 a month in Tokyo. And I am really good at Tokyo real estate. Okay. Uh, I know how to fucking find really good deals. $825 a month in rent. Okay. And that was uh that was that was a, that was a nice little two bedroom place. I converted one room into a studio. Now, could I have afforded an expensive place like fifteen hundred dollars a month luxury location? Yes. Okay. Yes, I could have. But I knew what I was doing. I put everything back in the business. Okay, rent electri- uh, uh, 825 a month. Next month, next thing that's most expensive for you guys is elec- electricity. And that was about 100 a month. I'm about to I'm writing yen. <laughs> let's, let's keep the currencies uniform here. 100 a month, okay? Water. 50 a month. And I always boost these numbers. Okay, so when calculating your overhead... You're better off overestimating what you need than you are underestimating. You always round up. When your expenses come to play, when your overhead is being calculated, always round up. Always round up for your expenses and always round down with the income you think you're coming with. That way you have a nice security blanket and ending up with more money because the number one person you have to protect your money from is your big old stupid self. Right. Uh, electricity, water, uh, internet. I always have fiber optic internet. It was expensive at the time. It was seventy five bucks. Uh, your cell phone. That's also ridiculously ridiculously expensive. Cell phone in Japan is about uh, ninety dollars a month. Right, which is ridiculous thievery. Uh, food. You're looking at about $100 a week, so it's $400 a month, okay? If you're spending more than $400 a month on food, then you're fucking throwing your money away, and you're being an idiot, okay? You can eat chicken and steak for the entire month, and as long as you cook your food at home, dude, a bag of rice is 20 bucks. Okay, you get vegetables. At, you, you can even get like the steamables, vegetables, which are like, you know, frozen vegetables, which I'm not a big fan of frozen food, but I had to live off the steamables and I'm okay, right? You still get the, the nutrition and uh, the nutrients and whatnot, or you can just get some fresh salads or whatever. Um, and then, you know, rice, salad, chicken, steak, salad, chicken, fish, salad, chicken, okay? You save time, you save money, you save calories and you don't become a fat, disgusting fuck face. Like literally more than 75% of all Americans. How big of a bag are you buying? Dude, $20 will get you a 20 pound bag of rice. Or is it 20? There's, it's uh, 10 pounds, but you can spend like 30 bucks, three thirty dollars and get a 20 back, a 20 pound pack of rice. And that's literally going to last you like four months. If you guys don't donate a hundred dollars right now, you. you're a beta don't male, know. you're a cuck, you're blue pill for life. <laughs> you better send me a thousand dollars in donation right now. <laughs> and, and that's. Al, with the $2 super chat, says, quality content, this is what I'm here for. I am quality content, okay? I am Mr. Quality Content. If you're enjoying this content, go ahead and sign up for the Hot Dude Army right there. Click on that link in the chat, sign up for the Hot Dude Army, and I will give you free emojis, and your name gets highlighted in green, and I treat you special. And I'll read out your name, like David T., who is a member. Sergio's a butte is a man, a member, a non, and I know his real name. He's a member. Cody mouse is the best member. 
the first member, just like Charlie's first customer. Cody, you're royalty over here, man. In the Hot Dude Army, in the Moon Gang, you are royalty. We talk about you way more than you think. Please uh, tell uh, Zarate to stop being such a beta and get his head out his ass and get back with us. <sighs> get one sniff of pussy and you sell out your entire belief system. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, let's hit the un undo button there. Okay. Food. And uh, what else we got here? Uh, rent, electricity, internet, cell, food uh, for, for Tokyo transportation, which is train. Train was about $200 a month, right? Ugh, I shudder at those days when I had to ride the train. No offense to my bros in Tokyo who have to ride the train. We all have to bite the bullet eventually, okay? Or, you know, in the beginning stages. Am I missing something? I think that's pretty much it. Am I missing transportation, food, cell, internet, water, electricity, rent? Okay. So let's just let's just keep bringing this up. Okay. So then you do is you you get your handy dandy calculator, or you ask Siri if you're that lazy. Okay. Eight twenty five plus one hundred. Plus 50 plus 75 plus 90 plus 400 plus 200. Okay. Oh, yeah. Gym membership. Good call. Because gym membership is mandatory. And gym membership is going to cost you, worst case scenario, especially in America, $50 a month. Okay. In Japan, the average gym membership is eighty to one hundred and fifty dollars a month. Hilarious. So plus fifty. So now your overhead is one thousand seven hundred and ninety dollars per month. Okay. So, for all you men out there who don't have your al your overhead calculated, you're ruining your life, okay? You have to have your number in your head. You manage your money or your money's going to manage you. That's it. You manage your money or your money's going to manage you. This is what I was doing here. Okay. Now, my monthly income was about 3000 to $4,000 a month teaching English, okay? However, I calculated 3000 okay? So minus 3,000 for simplicity's sake. And now you are up at a 1,000. I was up at a, oops, why did that disappear? Oh, I guess it just because it's a different program. I should be able to pin that. It should be right-click pin. Uh, let's see. $1,210 a month surplus. Okay. And of that twelve hundred, I was able to save 
1,000. For investing into the business or into the savings account. Okay. Sergio Zabit says that 210 is for personal hygiene, weed, supplements. <laughs> I love how you factored weed into there. No, I was not smoking weed in Tokyo because that is the equivalent of a felony and you go to jail eternally if you do that in Japan. So no, no drugs. Don't be stupid. Okay. So honestly, honestly speaking now, okay. One is yes, two is no. Do you know your monthly overhead exactly? One is yes, two is no. One is yes, two is no. In the chat right now, let's see what we got. here I am just checking to make sure that we did not get demonetized from the Jeopardy tune let's see what we got okay uh, American Mustang Stories 2 I'm not surprised there Sergio's Butte 1 Troy on Wheels 1 Anon 1 Greg B 1 good for you Greg well Greg you're pretty good with money uh, Brandon LeBlanc 1 Jeffrey Fallo 2 Steve the Pilot, two. Damian Campbell, one. Rick Johnson, one. Wild Bill, one. Odin, two. Odin, come on. You're better than that. Protein Field, one. Nigerian Don, one. <laughs> Nigerian Don, you like live it with your parents. It was like $7 a month. Uh, Peter DaCosta, one. Mark R, one. Ricky, of course you have one. Josh from Elif Program, one. But we need to calculate and get your spending down, you shithead. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Uh, Joel's, C. Joel's, two. Not to the dime. Uh, Lady Green, one. JB, 84, two. Patricio, two. David T, one. Marcus, third, two. Come on, Marcus. Come on, Marcus. You're going to lose all your money in Q4 if you don't get this shit in check now, Marcus. You're n Marcus, you're better than that. I'm I'm very surprised. Come on, bro. Two cents, one. Mohammed Mizanur, one. Sorry about that, Mohammed. Cannot pronounce it correctly. Cody has one. Brent Caldwell, one. Of course you do, Brent. Proud of you. Pepsi Stamina, too. Brandon Lilly. Come on, Brandon. Shame on you. You're better than this. Brandon, you started off the year strong. You started off good strong in, in May and summer of last year, but you fell off hard, buddy. It's bullshit, man, especially all the extra time I gave you. Uh, Ezekiel Arias, too. I'm stupid. At least you're, at least you're aware. Uh, Riley, one. Alpha Brick, two. David, uh, Ethereal, one. Artemis, 1,120. Good for you, Artemis. Uh, Dark Coin, two. Uh, tacos for sale too. 2,500 months is Sergio. Uh, 1.5 says David T. Um, yeah, let's see. Bang rain one, J Tal one, one kept it on a spreadsheet ever since live alone since explore, exploring tiger, slow dragon, DJ finesse one, Bobby sour juice two. I love Versace. <laughs> you guys crack me the fuck up, man. All right. So, you got to calculate your overhead, all right? And we're going to talk about it. You got to get those numbers low as possible. Embrace minimalism, guys. Embrace minimalism. Embrace minimalism. Embrace minimalism. Say it with me. I will embrace minimalism. One, two, three. I will embrace minimalism. Let me tell you something. Okay. I have a $500 Versace robe. Okay. I hate that robe. I literally bought it because uh, when I was setting up the, the, you know, the initial stages of the business, Rich was like, if you're going to wear a robe, go wear like an expensive robe. And I listened to him. And was he right? 
Um, debatable. I do hate that robe though. It's I just it's made of towel material. This this is like a piece of crap from like Macy's. It was like forty bucks. I love this robe. It's forty dollar robe. I love it. Okay. Is it nice when I have the Versace robe and I'm stunting around the house and the girls see it? Absolutely. It's fantastic. I'm like, yes, look at me, you peasant. Um, it's fantastic. I love it. Okay. You're not going to find happiness in material things. You're going to find happiness in peace of mind. And peace of mind comes with having control over your life to as much extent as you can. And a great way to do that is to have control of your finances. Again, remember, this is me, all right? This is my quote. Manage your money or your money's going to manage you. Write that down somewhere. Staple it to your fucking forehead. Put it on your fridge. Write it on your mirror with lipstick if you're a psychopath. I don't care. Manage your money or your money will manage you. I met this guy in his 50s. This guy is fucked. This guy is properly fucked. He is getting older. He is getting weaker. He is getting more tired. And he didn't save money. He doesn't have any money saved. He is, his life is, he's a slave. He is a slave to grinding every single day. He is an absolute slave. And it started with him not mandatorily saving money in order to build a business or buy assets to escape the rat race. Okay? Harry, I've seen your $40 robe. And 10 out of 10, I approve. As high commander, title has been retired by me, and now I have ascended into supreme leader status. You must know that my powers have indeed multiplied. And through this multiplication, my blessings has they have also multiplied. Okay? And I bless the robe. Good work. All right. Russell Moore says, that is all true, but it's never too late to turn it around. Ray Kroc founded McDonald's in his 50s. Ray Kroc stole the McDonald concept in his late 50s. Stole. Okay. Stole. And he still did it. And I like Ray Kroc. <clears throat> but just give me a quick history lesson. It's not the Disney story you think it is. Okay. Okay. Watch the movie The Founder. See, Joel's, you'll love the movie. Go watch The Founder. It's with Michael Keaton. That movie is fucking fantastic. That man has tenacity. Tenacity. Okay. Hellfighter with the one. He's watching on a late delay. He's watching on a little bit of a late delay there. Okay. What's up, Roberto? Nice to have you in here. All right, so, um, but yeah, it all goes back to mandatory savings, okay? If you're not saving money every month, okay, if you're being a dipshit and you're going sitting at an empty bar at drinking until 1 o'clock in the morning and your life is not together, you're a fool. You're a goddamn fool. Okay? Period. Now, why do we need mandatory savings? We do mandatory savings to buy assets. Okay? And we buy assets to get financial freedom. And we use financial freedom to, this is why you're raising your man the way you got to raise him, the young man, the perfect man, how to raise the perfect man. You're teaching them financial freedom to 
If you guys don't this donate hundred dollars right now, you're a beta male, you're a cuck, uh, you're blue pill for life. You better send me a thousand dollars in donation right now. <laughs> and, and that's escape the system. Okay. Every man needs an escape plan. You do not want to be a corporate slave the rest of your life. Even if you enjoy the corporate world and you're saving money and you're happy, okay? There are people in the corporate world who are called intrapreneurs, okay? Intrapreneurs, people who excel by working within a company to bring the company to new heights and get financially rewarded along the way. Okay, I got a great guy here. He's a, he's a Muslim buddy of mine. Uh, his name is Tamul. And uh, this kid is is a he's a killer. He he is an intra he's an intrapreneur. He's he works so hard, and he works within the company, and he does very well for himself. I think he's like twenty five or twenty six now. He's doing like two hundred k a year. That's not bad for a twenty six year old kid. That's not bad at all. So you can't be an entrepreneur. However, you do want to even if you're doing this, you want to have some kind of side side thing. To escape the system. A lot of people. If you guys okay? don't donate $100 don't right know, now. You're a beta male. Player. You're a cuck. You're blue pill right? for life. <laughs> you better send me $1,000 in donation right now. <laughs> and, and that's Okay. So now another thing is this, right? Let me read these. Uh, Colonel Sanders, 16, uh, $5 super chat. He says, uh, fried drumstick leg, fried drumstick leg, fried drumstick leg, fried drumstick leg. Uh, taco for sale with a two dollar super chat says taco 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 thank you guys so much um non is in the house he says facts this show shouldn't be uh free uh, laughing my ass off dropping too much knowledge well if you guys want to send a direct dono click on that link right there streamlabs.com forward slash modern life dating channel the money will go directly to my bank account i will pay a three percent fee for all the people sending super chats, I only keep thirty. I only keep seventy percent of the donations. Uh, thir YouTube takes the other thirty percent, and the funds are released to me after thirty days. So we'll talk about fiscal responsibility here. If you want to donate your money and be fiscally responsible to your donation, because you want me to receive the most money as possible, that's why you're donating. I hope. Uh, please use the link right there, streamlabs.com forward slash Modern Life Dating Channel. You can click the link in the chat. Thank you so much for your kindness. You have to have an escape plan, guys. All right? You have to. If you guys don't donate right. $100 right now, you're a beta you. male, you're a cuck, you're blue pill for life. Thank you so much. You better send me $1,000 in donation Ugh. right now. <laughs> and, and that's oh, it's Jesus Christ. It's already 1 o'clock in the morning over here. Oh, I've been going for an hour and a half. Wow. Despite me having an awful... I'm just going to have to restart OBS at the beginning of every episode. It's just ridiculous. I don't know why I have this million dollar computer with all the state of the art shit inside of it and it's still OBS still clips. Um Atham, my man, the number one Mexican in the Hot Dude Army. Actually number two. Roberto's number one. Atham is number two. Um sends a two dollar super chat. So thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for the two dollar super chats. Um but yeah going back to this Right, and from age fourteen to eighteen, he knows everything he's doing is to escape the system. Okay, the system of slavery, the system where you work and you trade the finite hours in your life for worthless paper because that's what fiat is, okay? Remember, you manage your money or your money's going to manage you. In this life, it's pimp or be pimped. Either you're pimping or you're hoeing.
James Doyle with a very nice, awesome chat comment. James Doyle says, any system is designed to benefit the people who created it. So create your own system for your own benefit. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay? That's the foundation of this man. Young man. How a winner lives his life from age 14 to 18. This is what you instill in the young man. All these principles that we have covered up to this part three here. Okay? It's all to escape the system. Okay? All to escape the system. And if you're not doing that, you're fucked. Okay? You don't know. What if you get hit by a bus and you can't work? You get paralyzed from the neck down. Okay? No bueno. you got to escape the system. Period. That's why you buy cryptocurrency. That's why you buy gold. That's why you keep good credit. Okay? That's why you get a high-paying job by getting a good education. You don't get an educationist and feminist underwater basket weaving theory and then think about your riveting career at Starbucks after while you're saddled with $80,000 in student loan debt somehow blaming the patriarchy. No, doesn't work like that. The system is designed to use you, abuse you, enslave you, and drain you of every dollar, every ounce of energy, and every drop of happiness in your body. Period. Okay? And again, going back to this one more time. Mandatory savings. Okay? If you are not saving money, you are fucking up. If you are not saving money every single month, I do not give a fuck what your plan is. You are fucking up. You must save money to buy assets, to get financial freedom, and escape the system. There are no ands, ifs, or buts about this. Period. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> Happy sleuth in our mind. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I meant to press the I meant to press the off button, but I pressed the siren button. <laughs> okay, that is why you do this. All right. Mandatory savings. My heart has been broken in half when I talked to that guy in his fifties, and it was broken in half because I knew he was just his bad behaviors were ingrained in him. They are who he is. No money, no scalable skills. Okay? Guys, time is going to pass regardless. You might as well put your time into something that's beneficial to you. Are you making money? Are you making muscles? Are you learning game? Because these are the big, this is the trifecta. Okay? Because a lot of guys, they have their fitness on check. They have their fucking money on check. I know a guy. I'm, uh, this guy, I'm, his name was Chris W. He used to work with me. I'm not going to say his last name. He used to work with me at Apple. Got me an amazing job at Apple, right? Stud. Jacked. Handsome guy. Strong jaw. Shredded. All he did was get yoked, and he fucking made bank at Apple. He got stock in Apple in 2006, Okay. You got, a, you got stock in Apple at 2006. That's all I'm going to say. Balling. But kept falling in love with bad woman after bad woman after bad woman. Lost some money. Emotional stress. Happiness is through the window. Okay, going going from shitty woman to shitty woman. Right? Guys, our very own I've there's guys in our community that I've helped lift up, learn game, and they have money, they have muscles, but then they saddle up with quite frankly, 
Some of these guys are literally saddling up with some whore. And then when the whore goes out and does whore things, then they're like, jeez, colored me surprise. This chick, before I met her, she was fucking everything that walked. She wasn't loyal at all, and I want a loyal woman, but she's not loyal. And despite me being some superb alpha great guy, she kept whoring around. Well, Jesus Christ. I just can't riddle me this. I can't seem to put two and two together here. These are the guys. They get money. They get game. Listen, money and game is a dangerous combination. I got both of them. I'll tell you something, okay? When you have money and game, the 2019, when I finally, when my business plan started taking its, you know, stride and, and blowing up everything over here. I'm not going to lie. Big Daddy MLD was having a lot of sex and a lot of pizza. And I got fat. And I got really fat. Because the thing is this too. When you're having success and you have women around you. And you're having a good time. And you got a good mouthpiece. Even if you get fat, the girls don't say anything. Because they only care about how they feel around you. And when they feel good around you. They like everything about you. You could be 500 pounds. They'd be like, you are the sexiest 500 pound man ever. Okay? And so it becomes a negative reinforcement loop. But that has a breaking point. And then you start getting too fat to the point you're unattractive because you don't start feeling the internal congruence starts going because you start realizing, shit, I'm I'm fat fuck. And I got to do something about this. You got to have the big three covered. Money, muscles, game. Period. Period, period, period. Phil uh, Anon says, uh, Fax MLD was literally having this combo with the best friend, older gentleman, this weekend. This is cracking me up. It's so true, man. He should have lived longer. Yeah, and that's another thing. Some of these guys, they have money, they got game, and they become the fucking the fat plimp. You know, you're fucking, you get your, you got money, you got game, you you know, you get a little fat, and next thing you know, forty five, heart attack, boom, dead, game over. It's no reset. It's no respawn. You can't put another coin in and start over again. You're dead, motherfucker. It's over. The good thing about being dead is you don't care because you're not there. You know. And shout out to Wild Bill. Just Chad donated $10 to the Streamlab link. Thank you so much. You get to see George Bruno pump those dirty weights. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my clips channel. Uh, we're trying to get up to 300, right? We're like 200 and something right now. Let me see. I put the link in the chat for the, the clips channel. Uh, go ahead and get over there because we're playing the algorithm game clean. Uh, we're, our goal is to get the MLD clips channel up to 100,000. We're at 268 subscribers right now on the MLD Clips channel. So let's go over there, check out some of these. We got some great videos. We got a great shorts. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're getting putting some traction. Uh, the Aaron Clary clip right there. Uh, we clipped it down to 559. I'll make it more efficient. 193 on that. 83, 74, 93, 125, 127. And again, what you're going to see, like here, here's a live example, guys, just so you know. Take a look at this MLD Clips channel right here, all right? You're going to see me grow this into a 100,000 subscriber clip channel. 100,000 subscriber clip channel. And we're all starting here right now because I know the art of discipline, persistence, and optimization, okay? Go subscribe to the channel. Link's in the chat. And you're going to see how to grow business. But again, mandatory savings is the one thing you take away because mandatory savings leads to escaping the system. Poor people buy things. Rich people buy assets. And remember, what is an asset? It's something that is a 
money maker. You want to have money makers in your life. There's money makers and there's money takers. I don't know about you. I want money makers. I want no money takers. I want money makers. So, that concludes ages 14 to 18. That's the end of today's episode. Now, before you go, I just want to say, it's Money Monday. Get out there. Make money. Make muscles. Learn game. For you guys watching on repeat, hit a comment, hit the like, hit the subscribe, turn the notification bells on. Appreciate you guys. Stay focused on your goals. Remember, and eliminate all negative people from your life, negative music, negative media. Stop paying attention to politics. Create an echo chamber for excellence. Stay patient. Keep those diamond hands strong. And we're going to be back tomorrow for How Winter Lives His Life, Part 4. Who knows how long this series is going to go on. I'm just going to keep going on until I feel like we're done. All right? You guys have a wonderful day. Love you all. Peace out.